everybody, Nick here from Leadsook. In this uh, video, I'm going to do a short case study on this campaign that we're doing for Digital Markets Australia. This is for the event that's happening in March. And I just want to share how this uh, campaign was created. Now, what the, the campaign does, it uh, dynamically generates a chart of, uh, of uh, your skills or of the leads that are going through this. And they're assessed in uh, six different categories from traffic, lead generation, sales conversion, analytics, systems and automation, and lastly, operations, which we've identified as the six broad categories of, uh, of digital marketing. Just quickly go through the decision tree and generate a chart for myself, uh, and then I'll share how we created this. So the first bit we had was a little bit of a uh, chatbot style uh, of, um, of uh, introduction. And uh, let's uh, see what we have here. Uh, Nick, go through. And what business are you in? So we're uh, tracking to see uh, what business profile someone has. This was a checkbox question, so you could uh, answer uh, multiple uh, questions because uh, we've realized that not every business only does one thing. And the next one was the current uh, job title, just to understand where they are in the hierarchy of the position so that the remarketing or an email campaign that can happen thereafter could be uh, highly targeted. Uh, then came the questions that resulted, uh, that created a score in each of the six categories that we saw. And so I'm just going to quickly go through and uh, uh, select a few answers. Most of them are probably going to be wrong, so I'm going to get a horrible score. Uh, but uh, just for the purposes of time. And uh, last one, yes. A few more profile questions to segment you in the right place. And I'm just going to put down um, my trusty email address. And if I click next, what it does at this point is that it dynamically generates uh, generates a chart. So because I uh, got horrible scores <laughs> in, in, a, in a few categories, uh, it's going to, uh, it's, it's uh, obviously I suck at traffic and uh, sales conversions and um, systems and automation. And I'm reasonably okay with lead gen and operations and I'm uh, a grandmaster of analytics. All right, so just to kind of share with you what we've done here, uh, you can share it directly into Facebook. So that's uh, part, of the, uh, part of the software. Uh, and then we've got a personalized message here, which is, hi, Nick, congratulations, yada, yada, yada. My name is uh, Stephen, and uh, these are the scores that I got, and these are the scores that have been uh, graphed in this uh, radar diagram. Uh, next what we've got is, uh, because I uh, suck at the specific skills, it's uh, recommending uh, whose sessions I should go watch. So I'm going to get a reasonably long list here because uh, I suck at quite a few things here. And so we're starting with uh, Greta and then with Fred and then going all the way down to a whole bunch of, uh, of the fine speakers that are coming to uh, the Digital Marketers Australia event. All right, so we're going to go down here and then we have a, a, sort, a short um, a s content section uh, where we um, close with, uh, with a bit of an offer. Uh, to the event. All right, so I'm going to share with you now um, how this was created. So in my initial discussions with uh, Stephen, we, uh, we basically uh, had uh, speakers and uh, all the various skills uh, that they ended up with. Now we had to take the large variety of skills that uh, these speakers have and uh, categorize them into each one of the six categories and then see if uh, which speaker uh, attaches or is in that category or they're speaking uh, or the topic that they want to talk on, I should say, uh, is in that category. So there's a bit of uh, Excel work that we had to do to work out um, who was in what category. I won't go through that, but basically the end result was that we ended up with uh, each speaker in one of the categories. Now in the case of, uh, say for example, Mike Rhodes, because uh, he selected that his skills are quite a few. Uh, we, the, the Excel uh, work that we had done, which is uh, 
selecting people on the various uh, into the various categories ended up selecting that he's got expertise in all of them same as uh, Greta here um, that's not to say that the um, that the speakers don't have skills in other categories because anyone uh, who's uh, who's an expert at this level would generally know much about all uh, sides of digital marketing but this is related to the topics that they were speaking about at the event and so now the goal was to to chart uh, these people and uh, the decision tree that was created so I'm going to quickly switch over to Leedsook now and show you behind the scenes uh, what we did okay, so I'm just going to log into Leedsook And these are the various um, tests that we've been doing. This is a test account in which I'm logging in. So I want to quickly find uh, Stephen's decision tree. Okay, so this is um, Stephen's uh, decision tree that we created for the Digital Marketers event, uh, and uh, which is basically this one here. And if you have a look, these are the questions. Now, what Leadsook allows you to do is create, create nodes. Um, it's an active campaign, so I'm not going to um, deactivate it. Uh, but you can see that it's all about creating nodes and you can drag people into any direction that you want um, so we're gonna quickly reduce the size of this and show you um, how the dynamic content was generated so firstly we we attached a, a score with each particular so let me just open this up and we can see for this question here uh, what's the biggest reason why people can't connect with you or get a reply from high value leads via email and uh, the answers were the various answers now in the DM leads custom field which is a number custom field we're saving uh, 50 as the value because we get assigning the point 50 points towards this particular um, category which is the leads category but if you look, the uh, the other answers had a zero attached to it. So we're scoring, adding points against uh, the custom fields, which was then uh, used to chart. So I won't go through each and every uh, answer, but just to show you that for every question you attach a, or you can attach as many custom fields. But in this case, we attach just the points custom field. We're also tagging each answer. So if you want to do a segmentation to say who uh, replied with. Um, no automated follow-ups as the answer then you can quickly do that so systems like active campaign infusionsoft work on tags so you can pass these tags across um, through to uh, your uh, crm or email marketing system the beautiful thing about uh, how this lead uh, how the decision tree works is that you can attach a tag against every answer and that answer so the every so the answer selected uh, adds the, the tag um, against the lead and then that is passed across. So if you have 25 questions, or let's say you have 10 questions, and over the 10 questions, um, you could easily attach 10 or 15 uh, tags against that person, which means now you have a highly targeted uh, list, or you have a list with lots of segmentation data against them. So you can slice and dice the data to come up with uh, automations for and uh, create quite granular campaigns. So that's what uh, what this does. Uh, now those points were then used to to create the chart, and uh, the chart was created um, using uh, over here. Which, which you, let's see if uh, I believe it was probably one of the last ones. A DM chart radar. So I'm going to quickly open that up, and you can see that uh, the traffic had the DM underscore traffic, oops, um, custom field. The lead generation used uh, the leads custom field and these are basically points that were being accumulated as someone went through uh, the decision tree and what does the chart look like you see we're going to go to configuration uh, in this case it looks like this There's a whole lot of settings here i won't go through to bore you with the details of uh, how to generate one of these but basically that's what uh, the chart uh, settings are and you can generate uh, create quite a bit of uh, quite a few settings here to create uh, any chart or whatever it looks like to your liking. And so that's basically how the chart was created. Now the next thing we wanted to uh, show you was uh, what does the actual, how is it dynamically generated content taking happening inside Leadsook. So I'm going to quickly go back to the decision tree. 
Okay, so back in the decision tree, uh, as you notice that we have a whole lot of speakers that I'm being invited to go and uh, see or watch uh, whose session I should, I should attend at the event based on these uh, scores, uh, how was that part done? Well, it's done through what we call the decision node, which is a way to add conditional logic inside the decision tree. So here I am looking for um, show me experts um, who in the category for which I scored less than 50. That's why I said experts less than 50. So where my scores were less than 50. So I'm going to go through to my good friend uh, Mike Rhodes. And um, what I'm basically saying here is show me Mike's uh, record or show me Mike's uh, result or, or content about Mike if I score uh, less than 51 uh, in any one of these categories because we know that Mike's expertise uh, is in uh, all of those fields uh, for the purposes of uh, the topics he's going to talk about at the at the event um, so only show me so show me Mike if I score less in any one of these categories. Uh, similarly, I'm going to pick, um, let's say, uh, D here. And I'm not aware. So what does D rank in? So let's have a look at D's record. So D is an expert in everything uh, except, uh, in this case, systems. Um, once again, I want to reiterate for the purposes of the of the event, uh, not that he doesn't have skills in systems, uh, because anyone who's speaking probably has skills in all of all of these, but uh, this is more for the matching of the topics that uh, that they're going to speak at uh, and uh, the invitation to go watch their session at the event. So we can see here that operations is not part of the mix, uh, and uh, we're only looking for scores in five categories here. I'm going to pick one more. Uh, and let's see, we're going to pick Fred here, who's got expertise, uh, who's um, speaking on uh, one, two, three topics, which is uh, traffic, leads, and operations. So we'll go through to Fred. Let's open, uh, and you can see traffic, leads, and operations. So if this condition is true, if any one of the of the following conditions is true, then show Fred's um, uh, Fred's details as someone you should go watch. So what the... So I'm going to cancel out of here. So what the decision node is doing here is it's um, it's uh, calculating to see, or it's working out which experts to display on the results page, which is the final page where it's being cal uh, where uh, where the actual results are being displayed or where the content is being displayed. But the calculation or the dynamic nature of the content is happening in all of these nodes here. I won't uh, go into any more detail because uh, it, it can get a bit a little bit complex and, and that's not the purpose of this video but just to show you uh, the, the power of uh, dynamic generating content so what's happened here is rather than selling an event we're essentially selling uh, letting leads identify um, areas where they may need help or they may, where they may want help and then matching uh, the speakers whose uh, sessions they should go watch so this is turning an event uh, selling of an event into selling of a solution to a problem uh, that the leads themselves identify with. All right, so this is just a short video to explain what that is. And finally, uh, uh, the leads are then transferred into this Active Campaign account that uh, uh, this is uh, Stephen's uh, Active Campaign account or the Digital Market Australia Active Campaign account is where it's being transferred into. So just a drag and drop interface, um, really easy. Um, we can actually create a lot of complexity about here. This is one of the more complex use cases we've got, uh, where uh, though users have created uh, slightly more um, complex use cases. So what are you doing? And actually, if I show you what the results page looks like, this is the final page that's actually been displayed over here, which is uh, over here. What's happening um, is uh, if you have a look, there's really not much content here. We've got a little bit of uh, the beginning bit, which is uh, first name's digital marketing profile, which is uh, Nick's marketing profile here. And then I've got the chart, which is uh, basically I've added through the chart uh, thing here. Uh, the chart button, which was created, uh, I saw how we created the chart. 
and then uh, it comes a whole bunch of uh, static uh, content and then your scores are this now from this point onwards it's all dynamically generated and this is the the last pitch at the end to to grab uh, the 50 percent off early bird tickets uh, but the 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 content the dynamic content generation which is uh, everything from this bit here which is where the speakers are being displayed that's happening through the conditional logic that's been added into the decision tree right so just want to share with you that that's a that you can actually now we have some users who will go and create multiple uh, multiple pages uh, based on the path someone takes uh, I in for the purpose of this uh, one here we use conditional logic to dynamically generate the same page uh, based on the questions and answers so there's only one page being generated which is dynamically generated but the content that's being added to it is a mix of um, of the static content which is uh, up to this part here this is all the dynamic content and then at the bottom here we've got uh, that bit is also the static part so even this is all being dynamically generated through one of the decision nodes over here uh, now we've got users who will add you know 10 15 of these and create highly complex uh, or highly personalized um, uh, results pages and this can be a sales letter, this can be a report. Uh, now, one of the features that I haven't mentioned, and Stephen could have done this, is you can actually turn this dynamically into a PDF, actually. And that way you can display or demonstrate to your users a, a personalized uh, PDF, which is uh, as simple as just ticking this little tick box. And that'll create this whole thing into a PDF. And each a, a dynamic PDF is generated for every person who goes through the decision tree. So every lead gets their own PDF URL, and which you can pass through to your CRM system and send them over. And send them via an email to their PDF. Uh, you can display the PDF uh, immediately after the decision tree, but we found that uh, you can get far better results by delaying the, the delivery of the, of the PDF. Uh, because if you're telling someone that you're going to dynamic, that you're going to generate a a personalized uh, uh, financial plan or personalized fitness plan or a personalized any plan, AdWords plan or traffic plan, uh, any vertical you're in, you can generate a, a PDF for that. It's not very credible to display PDF immediately. You're better off delaying the delivery of it and building a little bit of anticipation in it. Once again, these are a few of the strategies we, we cover in all of the training we have inside Leads Hook, but I just want to share a little case study here about how the dynamic generation of the digital marketers profile one was done. The reason I'm showcasing this uh, particular uh, case study is, um, or this decision tree, is it's we I rarely get to do this. Most of the client work we do, um, we can't share it for obvious reasons. Uh, but uh, Stephen's been very kind uh, to give me permission that I can share what we did behind the scenes for this. Uh, for the digital marketer, uh, the digital marketer profile campaign that we're doing for, for the vet. Uh, thank you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you inside Leadsook. Bye for now.